right, guys, this is Austin back with another Downey's Homes video. Um, we have a very special house behind us. If you've recognized this one from the past, it's a very similar floor plan that was really popular, but we have a special surprise on the inside with this one. Uh, right off the bat, before I show you the outside, remember, hit that big red subscribe button, give us a like, uh, click that notification bell, and leave us a comment down below. Um, so let's get right into this video. All right, guys, we have a massive, massive RNL home today. Beautiful front porch and beautiful new color siding. We love these black windows that really kind of uh, nods to the farmhouse look, even though this house really isn't that farmhousey look, but it has a nod to it with the black windows and the gray siding. I really love how that turned out. So I'm gonna walk around the back, but I'm not gonna walk all the way around because that's part of the surprise. And you'll see that when you walk in the front door. So of course, uh, really well built home, two by six sidewalls, nine uh, 12 ceiling, or I'm sorry, nine 12 roof pitch. Oh, I'm not going all the way around because I wanted to kind of show, actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead. You'll get the point and you'll see when you walk in. So this one has a really nice little bump out right here back side door you could kind of create a patio right here and i won't say what that room is but we'll get to it in just a second but you can kind of create a little patio off the side there love how this turned out uh with a little bump out three sections in the back beautiful beautiful home and you've got another door over here so if you wanted to add a carport or garage or or whatever you could do that as well so let's go take a look on the inside of this absolutely gorgeous home. All right, love that front porch. Fits several chairs up there, absolutely gorgeous. So let's go on up inside. Wanted to kind of show you. Beautiful front door, solid. And look at this guys. Right when you first walk in, you have a huge room it continues all the way to the back <clears throat> excuse me so as you remember before this was your living room and right here was your kitchen well now this is a huge formal dining room space so you could really take and make a huge formal dining room right here in this space perfect for christmas or whatever you have a gorgeous living room here with a ton of built-ins soft closed doors power outlets everywhere you have space over here for a couple of chairs so this room is actually massive guys now that they've bumped out the kitchen to the back it's massive but before we do the kitchen i'm gonna do this side of the house real quick so this is still a three bedroom Two bath home, but we have this gorgeous uh, uh, cabinets right here, white cabinets that are soft clothes. But oh, watch. Ooh. <laughs> we have this beautiful uh, wrought iron uh, looking faucet in the bathrooms. And we also have the fixtures to match in the tub shower combo as well. Nice little rain head here. One thing I really like about Arnell is that this is tile over this edge here. So you don't have any wood there that's gonna get wet and kind of rot away. We have one piece fiberglass shower tub combos. Again, I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned, but nine foot ceilings in here. So nine foot throughout, absolutely gorgeous. Here is one of the secondary bedrooms. Tons of space, tons of natural light. A really good size bedroom. You can kind of put your bed there or behind me and put a TV and dresser there. And you also have a full walk-in closet in this secondary bedroom. So nine foot ceilings. You have a light built in and a little bit of an access panel in the ceiling. You have beautiful white walls. You have these gorgeous uh, five panel doors that really dress up the house. This is part of the Summit series, so it really, really kind of makes it nice. You have all different types of floor plans. These aren't hung up yet, but let's take a look at a couple. This one, 
called the Saddle Ridge, Saddle Worth, and Saddle Creek. So this is the one we're standing in right here. Excuse me, let me turn this down a little bit. This is the actual floor plan. So you kind of get a better idea of what it looks like. You have the great room, you have the bump out for the kitchen, and you have the two bedrooms and the master. So you have an actual um, addition that you could add upstairs if you wanted to. This one does not have it. This one has a 712 roof pitch. I might've said 912 outside, but this kind of gives you an idea of the floor plan. <coughs> well, along with, you have all these other floor plans that you can kind of choose from. You don't have to choose this specific one. So a lot of beautiful floor plans, a lot of finished colors that look fantastic with the knobs and the cabinets and carpet and everything. Sorry, I'm a little stuffy today. The pollen here in Eastern North Carolina is horrible. <laughs> so along, this is a second bedroom. You do have a full walk-in closet in this bedroom as well. So gorgeous, gorgeous house so far. So let's go take a look at that dreamy kitchen that we were just talking about. Oh my gosh, I can't get over this room. This is crazy. Look how massive this is. This is a big sectional and it looks dinky in here. It looks tiny and it is a pretty big sectional. Wow, okay. So this is the piece de resistance, as you guess you could say. But you have a breakfast nook right here Perfect, so you can kind of walk out onto a patio deck or something right out there. You have these gorgeous windows that just kind of light up this room. There's no electricity in here right now, guys. So as you can tell, it's very, very bright in here. You have these three beautiful windows right above the kitchen. And you do have these pendants with little bars or a couple of extra seatings. Um, you have these pendants that hang right here that are gorgeous. All of these cabinets are soft clothes. All of the appliances are Whirlpool. You have a smart oven that connects to your Wi-Fi. Black top, very gorgeous. Beautiful stove. You have a built-in microwave up here. One cool thing I do like about this house is you have this extra cabinet that you kind of just store stuff in. You can go way back and it closes. Now you have tons and tons of cabinet space up here. I mean, they go almost to the ceiling. <laughs> it's crazy how high these things are. You have a built-in pantry here. Don't mind my Coca-Cola. I have a problem. A lot of storage space up there. You have tons of drawers. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve drawers in this house, I think. The island itself has two plugs on each side. So perfect. Oh, another drawer. This island is just stocked with stuff. <laughs> you have a ton of space. So you have a ton of space there. Big wide drawer for uh, that would be my, um, that would be my junk drawer. <laughs> so coming in here, you have a massive refrigerator. A lot of space in that refrigerator and freezer. I'm just trying to show you everything, guys, because this house is crazy. Now come back here, and the best part is, you have a full pantry back here, too. And look at this cute door. Walk-in pantry, and look, it even tells you where it is. You have a full pantry there. Walk in, tons of space. This is your laundry room. I'm gonna step back here and open this door so I get a little bit of light in here. All right, that was a little bit harder than what I should have been. All right, new doors, kind of sticky. <laughs> but you have this gorgeous um, washer and dryer area. You have a place to hang your clothes when you're drying them. You have cabinets. You have a built-in wash sink. <clears throat> Really, really deep sink. Beautiful black faucet to match the rest of the house. I love this little area and it is perfect. So you also have another closet here. This house is not lacking in storage, I swear. 
So you have a lot of different options in this house. It is awesome. I'll shut that back. So let's go take a look at the last little part of this house, the master. Again, this is the, the formal dining room looking from this angle. So gorgeous. Well, let's go take a look at this master bedroom. So you have this massive bed. I'm gonna save the bathroom for last. Don't look over there. Um, you have a massive bedroom here. The other room, the other floor plan did not have a huge closet in it. And I don't even think in the original video I showed it, but this one has a huge closet. A lot of natural light. You have a ton of space there. Um, there you can, uh, you can have like shoes and shorts and everything over there. And then you can have all your hang up clothes in here. You have a ton of space in here, a lot of natural light through the windows. And of course, if you're changing or whatever, you can close those. Now, this is the gorgeous bathroom. We have the barn doors on it. They kind of roll in and out. Let's take a look at that. Look how smooth that is. So you have the barn doors there that close and you can open them back up. We have this beautiful, uh, sorry you caught me in the mirror. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful shower. We have the rain head coming from the ceiling, the transom window, that beautiful tile that goes throughout. We have the uh, black faucets and fixtures to match. It really sets off this house with the black faucets. I love how they did that. You have two LED lights above the shower. You have a, a light here, just a regular light. And you have these beautiful faucets here as well. See me? Hey guys. <laughs> you have that. You have a ton of storage in here. You have the linen cabinet there. You have the uh, three drawers and the cabinets underneath and of course over here is the bathroom so it is kind of tucked away so that way you don't have to worry about being in the same room at the same time but this master is really really nice guys so but let's meet you in the kitchen for final details right, guys, so we're going to do final details on this beautiful rl summit house this is their summit series like i said beautiful beautiful house a little echoey in here because it's still brand new um but this house is a three box modular two uh sorry three bedrooms two baths uh massive massive house you're looking probably 2,000 square feet at least um and this house is something and as you know anybody in the construction world the prices have varied drastically i mean drastically um, so they have had price increase at the price increase at the price increase, unfortunately. But this house, without any land, without any um, thing changed in here, without any kind of special um, stuff to do outside of your house, whether it be a set tank or anything like that, you're looking somewhere around in the 240s. Um, that is, I'm not going to say that's done. I'm not going to say that's completed. But that is with no land in no improvements. It might be a little bit higher, might be a little bit less. Um, it just depends on your situation in particular. So as always, please, please, please don't take my word for it. Stop by your local dealership and get a quote or stop by Down East Homes and get a quote if you're in the New Bern area or Eastern North Carolina area. Get a quote that matches you specifically. And also too, when you're seeing this in the future, if you have not um, already came and got a quote, the price has changed daily at this point. And so I just wanna let you know that price may be gone and out the window by the time you see this video. So just keep that in mind. Please be nice to your sales associates when you do talk to them because they have no control over it. And the manufacturers really have no control over it either because of the lumber prices. So keep that in mind when you see that price. Again, I really appreciate you guys. Follow me on this journey. If you haven't seen the last few videos, I do have my own YouTube channel. It's kind of more vlog style and talking about how I've started my own business and how I've kind of stepped out of the sales role in doing homes, but I'm still gonna be doing home tours for Down East Homes. So I just wanted to see, guys, I'll leave the link down below if you wanna follow me over there. Please click subscribe, that really helps me out. And also too, please click subscribe to Down East Homes. Click that notification bell on both accounts and leave a comment and give us a big like and thumbs up. That really helps out both channels. 
and we really appreciate it. Again, my channel will be linked below. So thank you guys, and I'll see you on the next home tour.